Hi everyone and welcome to the 11th lecture of the tree series. In this lecture, I'll be discussing the problem path queries. The problem says you're given a rooted tree consisting of n nodes. The nodes are numbered from 1 to n. Node 1 is the root. Each node has a value. Your task is to process the following types of queries. Firstly, change the value of node s to x and then calculate the sum or value from the path from the root to the node s. Now, this is a sample given. These are the values for each node. This is a tree. And these are the queries. So in this tree for given query, let's say 2 comma 4. We calculate the sum of the values at each node. In the path from the root to the node, which would be 4 plus 5 plus 2, which is 11, right? This would be 11. Now, for a query of the first type, let's say 1, 3, 2, we will change the value of the third node to 2. So this will become 2. Now, if we perform the second, the this query again, which is 2, 4, the sum would be 4 plus 2 plus 2, which is 8. Now the brute force solution for this could be for every query of the second type we can run a DFS at the first node and when we find a target node we can calculate the sum of all the nodes in our path. Now the time complexity for DFS is big of n and they are q queries so total time complexity would become big of n into q which is too slow and won't work. For efficient solution we will be using Euler tool and I explained that in the previous lecture and this will be a continuation of that. We will also be using a segment tree. Let's begin. Firstly, this is the tree which we also discussed in the previous lecture. This time around there will be a slight change. We will also be updating the timer every time we exit a node. So the starting and ending times would look a little different. So the, for the first node, the starting time would be 1, the second it would be 2, for the fourth node it would be 3. Now when exiting this node, the end time would also increment and it will become 4. Right? Now for the fifth node, it would increment and become 5, ending time would become 6, this would become 7. For the third node, would be 8 and it will be 9 and starting time for the 8 node will be 10 and ending time would be 11. Now it will be 11, sorry, 12, this would be 13 and 14 and this would be 15 and 16. This will be 17, it will be 18, it will be 19 and 20, this will be 21, it will be 22. Now like the previous problem, we firstly write all the starting and ending times in a table. So these are the starting and ending times for all the nodes. Now let me also Make a table for the values of each node, right? Now in this table, firstly, like the previous problem, for each starting time, I'll be filling the particular node. So one is the starting time of the first node, and the value at the first node is three. So I'll be filling in three. Two is the starting time of the second node, and the value is one. Three is the starting time of the fourth node, and the value is four. Four is the starting time of none of these five is the starting time for the fifth node the value is one
next 8 is starting time for the third node the value is 2 and so on firstly i'll fill all the starting values now that i've done that for all the ending times which is out time i'll be filling in the negative of the value of the corresponding node so firstly for 4 node is 4 and the value is 4 so i'll fill in minus 4 next for 6 is the fifth node and the value is 1 so i'll fill 1 minus 1 for 7 the node is 2 and the value is minus 1 i'll fill minus 1 and so on now that i've done that for any query of the second type let's say for 3 the sum of all the nodes in the path from the first node till the third node would be the sum of the segment starting at the starting point of the first node which is 1 and ending at the ending point of the third, third node which is 21 just the previous index of that so till here the sum of this would be the sum of all the nodes in the path from the first till third node now if you calculate the sum it would be 3 plus 1 plus 4 minus 4 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 so all of these cancelled out next plus 2 plus 7 plus 3 minus 3 this cancel out plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus plus 4 minus 4 minus 1 minus minus n plus 3 minus 3 so the total comes out to be 5 right now this is, is correct because it will for 1 Sorry, 3 plus 2 is 5. Now, why this works is for any path from the root to any node. Let's say, let's take a longer path. Let's say this one. All the nodes that appear in this particular path are the nodes that we visit after the starting time of the first node and before the ending time of the particular node that we are doing the query for. And they also end after the ending time of the particular node right so these start before the ending time of the particular node but they also end before that's right similarly these ones start before the ending of this node but they also end before the ending of this node so we won't count these similarly this one starts after the ending of the sixth node so we won't count this one only these three nodes are the ones that start after the first node and the end before and the start before the ending of the sixth node and the end after the ending of the sixth node right so the only these three nodes would contribute to our final sum now in this table for the query three All the nodes that have the starting time before the ending time of 3 which is 21 firstly give a positive contribution which is 1 gives 3 right and 2 gives 1 4 gives 4 and 5 give 5 gives 1 right and then 3 gives 2 then 6 gives 7 8 gives 3 9 gives 1, 10 gives 1, 11 gives 4, next 7 gives 3, right? These are the ones that have the starting times before the ending times of 3, which is 21. Now, all those nodes that have the ending times also before the ending time of 3, which is 21, also give a negative contribution. Right? So, the second node gives minus 1 firstly the fourth node gives minus four here the fifth node gives minus one here second node gives minus one here and the eighth node gives minus three here next 10 would give minus one 11 would give minus four and then minus one from nine then seven would give minus seven and then this would give minus three so all those nodes that end before three 
also giving a minus contribution so these contributions cancel up right only these three nodes are the ones sorry for for the query one and three only these two nodes are the ones that give only a positive contribution thus the final sum would be of this segment would be the sum of these two nodes right and the this sum we can find by using a segment tree uh, the time complexity of the Euler 2 would be bigger of n because this is simply a DFS. Next, for the segment tree, the building would take big of n and each operation would take big of log n. And the uh, q queries, so it will be a total of q into log n. Right now, let's look at the code. The link to this code will be in the description and you can access it from there. Firstly, I have a array of vectors for the tree and I also have array for segment tree this is basically the same code as the previous problem now the only difference is in the ending time I am also incrementing the timer now for each query firstly there is a DFS now I am updating the value at both the starting times and the ending times with the negative value of the particular node now during the update and updating both the starting times and the ending times with the particular node value the negative of that for the ending times and then for the query it will be the sum the starting time of the first node and the ending time of the particular node minus one that's it make sure you subscribe and share this video thank you for watching